In this video, we're going to talk about selection sets in ArcGIS Pro. Learn what they are, how to create them, and how to work with them. So let's talk first a little bit about what a selection layer is. A selection layer in ArcGIS Pro is basically a temporary layer that's created from a selection set of features from an existing layer. These layers enable users to isolate and work with subsets of data without altering the original data set. Selection sets are dynamic, they can be updated, edited, or removed according to the needs of the analysis and provide flexibility and precision in your GIS operations. All right, so let's show you how to create a selection layer in ArcGIS Pro. The first thing we'll need to do is actually create a selection set on an existing layer. So I'll go to the contents pane under list by selection. And what we'll do here is just simply define what layers we want to be able to create a selection set on. We're going to keep this pretty simple. I'm going to deselect railroads and city boundaries, leaving city parcels as my only layer that uh, is eligible for the creation of a selection set at this time. Now I can switch back over to my contents pane, this by drawing order. And now I'm going to need to actually create the selection set. Um, and of course, you know, we've, in past videos, we've covered the different ways that you can create selection sets. Uh, these are, in general, going to be found on the map tab. We have uh, manual selection where you're, or interactive selection where you're drawing some type of geometry on the screen and creating a selection set from that geometry. You can also create a selection set by uh, using the Select by Attributes tool, which allows you to introduce some type of SQL expression to create your selection set. Or you can use Select by Location to uh, use some type of spatial relationship between two, two or more layers to create your selection set. We're going to keep things simple here. It doesn't really matter what selection tools we use. So we'll just keep it simple and use our interactive selection tool of rectangle. And what I'm going to do here is just simply draw uh, a rectangle and any city parcels that intersect or are well, intersect the rectangle that I'm drawing here. So by intersect, I mean touching the rectangle or are completely within that rectangle. So the first thing you have to do is obviously create that selection set. Now that I have the selection set, I'm going to right click on the city parcel layer, which is the layer that contains the selection set. Uh, that'll display a context menu, and then I can go to selection. And then there's an option here called make layer from selected features. And if I click on that, that will now add a new layer to my contents pane. It'll have the same name as the original layer, but it'll also attach the word selection uh, to that layer name. So this is called city parcels selection. Now, if I turn off the uh, visibility of the original city parcel layer, you'll see that what you're left with here uh, are just, is simply the, the features that were initially selected. And so those selected features become part of the layer, uh, the selection layer that we, that we created. If I right click and go into the attribute table, uh, you can see that I have 22 uh, parcels that are currently selected, and that corresponds to what you see on the screen. So those are the features that have been added to that selection layer. Now, selection layers are, they're temporary in nature, right? They're meant to be virtual layers. Um, they're rarely a, an end result, right? So you're almost always creating a selection layer with the intent to do something else with that. Maybe you're going to do some analysis with that layer, uh, do some geo processing with that layer. Um, but the idea here is that you don't need this layer in the long term, right? You're just you created a selection layer to facilitate some other process downstream of the selection layer. So they're not meant to be permanent um, features. They're not meant to be a permanent layer. They're just simply meant to facilitate some other operation that you intend to, to perform. It is possible to make this a permanent layer. Uh, if you right click on the selection layer and go to data, you'll see some options here for exporting your features either to a new shapefile or to a geodatabase feature class. Uh, or if you just need the tabular results, you could also export the data to a new so, so just uh, that's just kind of a high-level overview of selection layers. We're going to kind of walk through that process of how you create these. And again, these are virtual layers. They're they're temporary in nature. They're not meant to. Uh, they're not meant to be persistent. Uh, although you can make them persistent, but they're not typically intended for that. They they're simply meant as temporary layers to facilitate some other process that you may be performing uh, in our days. All right, uh, that's it for now. I appreciate you joining me, and we'll talk to you again soon.